Hey everybody, it's Just101 and welcome back to the daily Hearthstone series. In the last episode, we won more uh, Hearthstone. One more, so that's good. So today we are going to continue, so let's get right into it. Yeah, we came off a very... I played the Prakash, uh, one of my really good friends, and we had a very bad game. <laughs> Basically, we had a Diana mid, and she just fed, and it was bad, and she said it was a Diamond Smurf and all this crap, it was really annoying. And uh, basically, everyone was mad at each other. I fed, and it really wasn't that fun, because I really don't like to feed when I play games. <laughs> but it was really, really bad. I'm going to use this video to kind of vent a little bit. But basically, I fed. I was playing Rumble, and I was against a Malphite. And you're like, okay, how is that possible to lose against a Malphite in lane? That doesn't really work. The problem was he had like a ton of AP, and I was getting no help at all from the Ramus. And he's like, wow, why are you dying top? It's like, there's nothing I can do. Like, did I keep True Silver? That's a very interesting question. I think, against, against a Paladin I might. I think I'm actually going to keep that. But, anyway, it was just not a very great series of games. Well, I mean, only one game, but... It was not a very fun. I'm going to put this in the Hearth Arena right now. Make sure I'm keeping up on that. This is gonna be really good though. Play Crocky. Uh, I don't like that. Okay, uh. Is it that one? No. I am putting in my game right now. Paladin. Oh, uh, I was first. Okay, that's not very good. That's a really good start for him. Um. What do I even do? I think what I do is, uh, I hit face, and I'll see what that is. Without, uh, Arjun protecting it. What is that? Okay. What is that, then? Huh. One second. I had to bring a Paladin Secrets, I forgot what- Oh, it's probably Avenge. Okay. Um, I think I actually Arjun protected that, then. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It's usually always either, uh, it's usually always, uh, Noble Sacrifice, but, not always. Okay. Really? Double Shielded Minibot? Holy crap, I didn't know why they were going there. Ugh, if it's Avenge, I get screwed over right here. I have to play around that, I can't let that. I have to trade, because, basically, if I, okay... The thing is, this play looks fantastic when you look at it on the surface. It's like, oh, okay, kill the 2-2, you still get a 2-3, they can deal with that. It looks great. But if that's Avenge, I'm screwed. Because he's going to have a 4-3 uh, with Divine Shield with Tempo. That's not very... I can't deal with that. So, what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to trade this to here. Right? Yeah. And I'm going to True Silver and kill the other one. We played around it perfectly, boys. If we didn't do that, uh, this would be... Oh, sorry, I miscalculated. It would be a 5-4 with Divine Shield. I couldn't deal with that, so... We played around that very well. Because I know that normal people would be like, Oh, it's a good trade. Just trade, trade the 2-3 uh, with Divine Shield and the other one. That's a free trade, but... Not the right one. Oh my god. Oh my. Oh, I don't trade. I don't like the trading. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's fantastic. I think that's the right play, actually. Yeah, that just, that's super card advantage. Uh, don't hit face. Yeah, that's... Th okay, I was going to play uh, Spider Tank here, Power, but that's right. That's very good. Next turn, I can play Ogre. Did he use Coin? Oh. Well, there's my answer. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to do a ghoul spider tank. Yep, that's right. And then hero power, and that's going to die anyway. Right? Is that the right play? Yeah, that's right. So I can get a value trade, hopefully, with my true silver in the spider tank, so I don't have to use my ogre. Yeah, that's good. 
Oh wait, never mind. Oh. Okay, I'm I'm just okay. My mind's kind of in two different places right now. I'm not really thinking. I didn't. I thought I had seven mana. Hopefully, it doesn't have a weapon to kill that or a charge. Grim patron. Oh, okay. Oh wow, that was really good. I didn't even think about that. Huh. Okay. Pretty easy play here, though. Uh, trade Dark Randor for this dude. And kill the guy. Right. Yeah, Grim Patron, yeah. When this minion survives damage, yeah. So. Okay. Better chance of that not surviving then. Oh, I did. Oh, that was really stupid why I do that. Oh my god. I was subconsciously in my brain, I was thinking, like, oh, I shouldn't hero power because the Grim Patron could just get a free one. Yeah, I was right. It's okay. It's a small mistake. And a true silver, Jesus Christ, okay. Wow, that was really bad. I, I subconsciously thought of it too. I was thinking like, oh, I probably shouldn't use the hero power. Oh my god. Oh, and he's always gonna fight damage, okay. We're just gonna go brute force. We can't play ogre hero power because then he just gets another free one. We can't hero power until all the grim patrons are dead. Wow, this sucks. Even then he still just gets true silver 2-2 two, two into that, but the best I could do. Wow. This Grim Patron literally might win him the game. Because he had that. Oh, I would not do that. I wouldn't have done that at all. I already kept the Divine Shield. Okay. We can't play anything that does less than 3 damage. Okay. Just gonna do this. Best play I have. I mean, we, we have a lot of consecrations. We can clean up the board pretty well and win this game, but he has major card advantage. Oh my god, that cult master is so good. That's a terrific cult master. Wow, I'm gonna lose a lot of value here from that. That's directly just like how many card draws? Like I think five card draws. If he decides to sacrifice everything. Wow, so that's two shielding mini bots, two divine protectors, Grim Patron, really good cult master, a true silver. Wow, that's a really, really good deck. Well, he's not playing around consecration number two. Wow, I don't have a good play at all. I think I just ogre. If I hero power, Lee, basically if I hero power, this says give him a grim patron. So I can't do that. I have to do this. Wow, I didn't even know the pal. I didn't even know grim patron was so good against paladin either. He's even he's gonna get more card draw. So like, basically there's nothing I could do if I play little dudes. Oh my gosh. Wow, and he could have kings that too. This guy's deck is crazy. I know that's like the Twitch saying, like, this guy's deck is crazy, but this guy's deck is crazy. Consecration, please. That's not Consecration. That's a lost game. Wow. That was crazy. Wait, was that three Archer Protectors? I don't even remember. I can't really count. Okay, I did make them. Actually, the thing is, though, what I always look at in Hearthstone is not looking at it in terms of how good his deck is that's like okay his deck was really good he had a ton of really good cards including like ogre and stuff like that but like the thing is i made a mistake definitely i gave him a grim patron for free and if i didn't give him that grim patron i might have won the game actually so or at least the outcome might have been a little bit different it might have been closer but i definitely made a mistake that game so that's why i like to learn if i if i want you to learn one thing if you're watching this for Hearthstone. If you're just watching it for me, it's like whatever, but if you're watching this for Hearthstone, the biggest thing I want to take out from this is like really like watch your moves and like learn from your mistakes. So now I didn't even think about how bad how good Grim Patron is against Paladin. Literally you play Paladin I guess Shaman too, but like 
You you lose hero power. They get a free gun prey talk. That's so good. Huh. Alright. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. And, uh, yeah. I guess I will see you all 